Okay, I'm back for the final video. I'm going to try to get this done quickly. All these will be uploaded later tonight, these three videos. So, let's get started with this case. It says two games in it. This one was given to me for doing a free job. The game don't work no more, which is sad, but I'm eventually going to get another one. This is probably my favorite Crash Bandicoot game. I don't know if this was on PS2. I'm pretty sure it was. If it was, please let me know in the comments below. This came out in 2002. Do not have the case or the manual, which sucks. But this is The Wrath of Cortex. Really, really great game. Haven't played it forever. Mm. Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring, which don't work. Which is the shittier version. They should act... Uh... People that did Two Towers and Return of the King should have made this. It's a hard-ass fucking game. This came out back in 2002. Didn't have the manual or the case for it. So, that's one down. Here's another one. A pickups video that you guys saw me do. This came out in 2004. It's complete. I think you have this one, Sinking Orange. If you do, let me know. Okay. This one's just missing the manual. This is EA Sports Fight Night 2004. And uh, speaking of this, this has Muhammad Ali in it. Uh, my condolences go to his family. Um, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. You are, one, of, in my opinion, the greatest boxing fighter in history. In the ring and out the ring. It doesn't matter what type of ring you're in. You are the greatest. I've seen some of his fights, guys. Not growing up as a kid, but I've seen highlights. Um, so, yeah, they also got Roy Jones Jr. in here and some other classic fighters. This one came out in 2003? Was it 2004? 2004. This one I got for my birthday, but it came out... Came in a later date. It's a little broken there, but that's fine. At least it's complete. Future Text is the Upper Rising. I already beat it. Never beat it on the PlayStation 2. Almost came close. Fuck. I think this one actually shows a game. Nope. Just shows badass artwork there. It is cracked there because my stepsister stepped on it by accident. Didn't realize it. This game don't work. Grabbed by the Ghoulies, but I'm going to get another one. This is made by Rare, which is sad that they're not around anymore. Fun game. This came out in... Don't even say. If you guys know when it came out... Oh, 2003. Future Tactics, The Uprising. So I need to get the case and manual for that. Future Tactics, The Uprising came out in 2004. Wait, did this one hold up? I want to check something. No, this is advertises a movie, which is 007 Die Another Day. Sink and Orange has Russia with Love. I know he has the GameCube version of this game, but he has Russia with Love on the original Xbox. Here is Metal of Honor Rising Sun. I like it for the gameplay. Some of the levels are just pain in the ass. I finally beat it again. Haven't beat it since PS2 days. Uh, game that I already have for the original Xbox. Beat them both on original Xbox and PS2. So that's Lord of the Rings of Return of the King. This came out in 2003. 2004, 2003. Um, Sinking Orange has Metal of Honor Frontline, which in my opinion is the best game, but this one has the better music. So, Metal of Honor Rising Sun got this complete. I was supposed to get this fucking game. Oh, that has a movie in it. Because I'm missing the case. Because my brother-in-law threw it out. Along with the DVD, because it was a double pack. I was supposed to get that game. The person sent me the wrong game. This game don't work. This is Rayman Arena. And this came out in 2002. So, I'm going to try to get through this quickly. I'm at four minutes. I'm actually almost halfway there. There's the disc. I've only been a fan of Rayman 3, but eh. Maybe one day I'll get it. This is more of a racing game and a battle game. It's nothing like the third game. 
Shrek 1, which you guys already seen me show you guys, no manual. This probably came out in 2000, 2001. 2001. Shrek 2, which is the greatest hits, which doesn't even have the greatest hits case. I actually got this for two bucks, and it's actually brand new. Funny enough. This came out. It, it sometimes doesn't have anything to do with the movie, but it, it's a fun game. You have four characters to play as in each level. This came out in 2004. I already beat it. Again, beat it back in the day on the PS2. This is a game I will never beat because it's the hardest fucking Star Wars game. Missing the manual. I had a greatest hits version of it back in the day for the original Xbox, but don't know more because I sold it by accident. So I'm just missing the manual. Does this one work? I mean, yeah, I know it works, but I don't know if it's all scratched up. Eh, just a little bit. This came out in 2001. Also got this. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Just need the case and the manual. This came out in 2002. I think the movie... I, th I thought it can't, the movie came out in 2005. I might be wrong. So, yeah. Graphics don't look that great. Hard-ass freaking game. This is complete, but the disc don't work. I don't know if you guys can see that. Had this for the PS2 back in the day. This came out in 2004. Wait a minute. Nope, it's not advertising a game. This is made by the same people that did Future Tactics, The Uprising. So this came out in 2004. Sinking Orange. Did an LP on this on uh, PC, and he did the second one on the 360. I had the 360 game. Um, almost came close to being that more than this one. But yeah, this one came out in 2006. This one has more so to do with the movie than the second game did. I don't know, does this show any... Oh yeah, advertisement for the movie. This one does come with the map, which I like. Now the three Lord of the Ring games. Now one of them is missing the plastic cover over it. Because a teacher gave it to me for free and thought that it didn't need it. But whatever. This came out in 2002. This is actually in great condition for the disc. I've already been this built on PS2 and original Xbox. Lord of the Rings, the two towers. This only advertises one thing on it. If I can get the damn thing out. It's actually on the inside, which is that stuff. But yeah. I got this for four bucks, which is funny. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. This came out in 2003. Love this game more because it's co-op. There's the disc. This is actually in brand new condition. I got this for like $10, $15, brand new. Manual. And then, showing when Medal of Honor Rising Sun came out, which I like how they do that with games. This is what I meant. Eventually I'll get a new case for it. Uh, this is an RPG style game. I've already actually beat it twice on the 360, because I played this disc on my 360, but I had to be online to do it. And then I beat it on the original Xbox. So yeah, you have about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters play as. Three or four of them are movie-based characters. Some of them are extra characters to help you out in the game, but you have about one, two, three, four, five, six main characters to play as. Some of them are just movie-based. I'll tell you the characters' names real quick. I know this one doesn't show 
something on the back. You got Barathor, Citadel Guard of Gondor, Israel of Lothorian, Elgas of the Dunedain, Hadhod, Clan of Hudin, Morrowind of Penmark, and Aodin of Rinmark. So there's them three characters. It's kind of hard to see, but it's okay. So yeah, you got about six characters right there. This is what the gameplay looks like. This was on the PS2 and Game Boy. I've actually almost completed it on Game Boy. Just gotta get my Game Boy back. Hard ass fucking movie game, I'm not gonna lie. Tried working on it the other day and I died again. 2004, the movie, uh, Hugh Jackman played as Van Helsing, which you guys know him as Wolverine. Like that artwork. So yeah, this shows the thing for the movie somewhere in here. And the book. So this is complete. This came out, like I said, in 2004. There's the disc. And then these son guns. Need to get the actual case on the outside. Here's also King Arthur. Need the manual case for this. This came out in 2004. Marvel. Uh, X-Men Legends. This came out in 2004. This is Greatest Hicks. I've already been in it. Both of these are... In, this is an okay condition. This is an okay condition, but they still play really great. This is a hard game, too. It's another movie game. Beaten that one. Oops. And I've beaten this. They were both on the PS2, and I've beaten both... On, well, I never actually beat X-Men Legends 1 on PS2, but I've beaten X-Men Legends... I mean... Didn't beat X-Men Legends 1 on PS2, but I beat X-Men Legends 2 on PS2 and original Xbox. I think this one, yep, this one shows a game on the back, I remember, of a game that I haven't played ever. I think it was only for original Xbox, but I might be wrong. Ultimate Spider-Man, which came, is, is, came out in 2005. This game came out in 2005. So yeah, I got 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty original Xbox games, and I have thirteen PS1 games. Shoo. Hold on, where's that Rayman case? Real quick. Hold up, guys. We're gonna go a little bit over time, probably. No, I won't. There it is. Just back in there. So, yeah, that's my entire original Xbox collection. These will be uploaded sometime tonight. Hope you guys have a great day, and please subscribe for more if you guys want to see more collections. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know, I'll get something to eat. Finish playing Him and Absolution. I don't know, I'll relax for the rest of the day. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later. Peace.